Um, the time is 5.30, so we'll go ahead and call the Finance Committee of Newark City Council to order. Uh, members present are uh, Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Marmy, Mr. Bubb, Mr. Cost, and myself. Um, we have one piece of legislation on our agenda tonight, and all of the items uh, listed under this uh, piece of legislation are be expedited. Um, section 1 of this uh, piece of legislation, well, I'm sorry, consider resolution number 15 dash 102 appropriating monies for the current expenses of municipal corporation section one is a request for a payout of kathy simmons and uh, director sad is at the um, podium good evening everyone um, her employment was terminated with the city of newark on october 21st of this year so we're um, just doing the official payout of uh, vacation and comp time thank you sir uh, motion motion by mr bob yes, second mr cost any questions or comments from the committee? Questions, comments from the audience? All those in favor of moving this on full council, signify by saying aye. 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 Put the same sign. Motion carries 5 0. The second section is dealing with a request for a payout for Scott Luce in the amount of $4,700. And I see Director Spurgeon is at the podium. Good evening, Mr. Chair. Uh, Wes has uh, separated employment for other pursuits. Um, I'd ask as a courtesy this matter be expedited, please. Motion. Thank you, Director Spurgeon. Motion, Mr. Bubb. Second, Mrs. Floyd. Any questions, comments from the committee? Questions, comments from the audience? All those in favor, move this on to full council. Signify by saying aye. 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 Put the same sign. Motion carries 5 0. Thank you, Mr. Thank Chair. Thank you, Director Spurgeon. Uh, section three of the resolution is uh, a request for a disappropriation of the appropriated balance of 100 general fund in the amount of $5,707.92. It's dealing with overtime and adult probation salary. And I see uh, Judge Higgins has come this evening to do the weather. Uh, nice to be here for the first time this year. <laughs> uh, we were uh, running out of money uh, and had some. Uh, funds available because of uh, what you heard just a moment ago. So uh, we wanted to transfer some from overtime and the balance from the probation salary account. Thank you, Judge. Motion. A motion by Mrs. Floyd. Second. Second, Mr. Cost. Any questions or comments from the committee for the judge? Any questions or comments from the audience? All those in favor, move this on to full council. Signify by saying aye. 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 Put the same sign. Which it carries 5-0. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you very much. Uh, the last section of this uh, piece of legislation is a request for an appropriation of the appropriated balance of the 100 general fund in the amount of $5,772.92. You heard uh, testimony from the judge just a moment ago. Is there a motion to move this on? Motion. Motion, Mrs. Floyd. Second. Second. Uh, Mr. Bob. Questions, comments? Yeah. You said it's $5,707.92? Uh, yeah. Is that what you have in your paperwork? Yeah, you had said $7,072.92. I just wanted to write on it. Oh, the, okay. Well, I misspoke. It is $5,772.92. Yeah. $7.92. So, thank you. Any other comments or questions from the audience? All those in favor of moving this on to full council, signify by saying aye. 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 Put the same sign. Motion carries 5 0. That concludes the business of the Finance Committee. Up next is service. We bring the Service Committee meeting to order. Members present are Mr. Blake, Mr. Bubb, Mr. Rath, Mr. Roberta, and myself. The first item is to consider resolution number 15 100, authorizing and directing the public director of public service to advertise for bids and enter into contracts subject to the appropriation of funds for the demolition of 116 Union Street. Mr. Warner. Good evening. Uh, we've got federal funds involved in a brownfield grant that we're going to be using to take the building down here at 116 Union, and due to that, we have to have legislation to use those public funds uh, in order to put it out for a competitive bid. So that's why I'm here tonight. Motion. Motion by Mr. Ram. Second. Second by Mr. Bob. Are there any questions out of members of the committee? Are there any, mem any questions out of the members of the audience? Where is 116? Do you know where the old Mr. B's 
appliance repair building is, oh, okay. right across the street from Flying Colors Preschool oh. as well. And it's a smaller building, it's in a grouping. One is a large building, the old Mr. B's, and then it was the old Forkers, um, fishing and hunting license building, and then there's another building, and then there's the railroad tracks. Oh, okay. Curtis is where that's located. And 116 is the smallest of the three. Do we have any, are we matching any funds, or is this a total? Uh, we, we can use all the Brownfield grant funds. We actually acquired the property, and we're going to use it to demo as well. Mr. Chair. Uh, Director Moder, it's my understanding that this has been an eyesore for some time that your office has been dealing with uh, from one fashion or another. So I just want to publicly say thank you for being uh, steadfast and getting rid of this, uh, this piece of property. And it's been a, it's hard, kind of hard sometimes dealing with commercial properties, and so I just want to publicly commend you for the work you've done. So. Well, thank you. Why is it Brownfield money? What kind of cleanup is necessary there? Uh, a lot of asbestos. All the siding is transite siding, Jeff, which is all asbestos. And it's just a blighted property as well. Um, we had to use these particular Brownfield funds for the Union Street corridor. It had to be used in that area. And we actually approached a couple of different property owners about trying to do some work, and and for one reason or another, it just didn't work out. And so we, this was one of the items on the list, and it, it is uh, an acceptable project for the funds. And so we're glad to be able to put this together. It's a part of the town that we'd like to put a piece together eventually. Maybe have that whole corner, with from a Holland up to the tracks. Maybe get a marketable piece one day that can be marketed as one total parcel, but step at a time. Anyone else? All in favor of moving this under full council, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Passes 5 0. Thank, Thank you, you all. Mark. The second resolution is number 15 101, authorizing and directing the Director of Public Service of the City of Newark, Ohio, to negotiate and enter into contract subject to the appropriation of funds for professional engineering services in connection with the design and construction of an anaerobic digestion system upgrade projects pursuant to Article 10-02D of the Charter of the City of North. This contract for professional services does not require competitive bidding. Mr. Lewis. Yeah, th this is a, we're sending out uh, RFQs, request for qualifications for engineering services to design an anaerobic digester um, to upgrade our ana current anaerobic digester system at the wastewater treatment plant. This is the system that we use to stabilize sol sl sludge and solids from the process and then reuse that on, on farm fields. Uh, and this is where all of our truck waste goes, that kind of, kind of thing. So uh, this particular, particular unit's uh, almost 30 years old. Uh, we've spent a lot of money maintaining our anaerobic digesters. It's a very corrosive environment, and so equipment rusts um, and, and, and deteriorates quickly. Uh, it's a complicated system. It has compressors, it has boilers, it has heat exchangers, it has mixing systems, um, and, uh, but it's a critical piece of uh, process for us uh, because we, we generate about uh, $350,000 worth of uh, revenue for truck waste, and that's where all that goes into. So we got to keep that process um, updated and, and working. Um, so, uh, and our hope is with this new system, we can even generate more money uh, from from waste coming into the city. So, um, and then and, and then getting rid of the waste too. We also this is where we produce our gas. We are, we're currently selling the gas back to the gas company, um, um, which is about a you know somewhere depending on how well our system's running. Uh, uh, somewhere between twenty-five and fifty thousand dollars a year, we make on, on selling the gas back to the uh, back to <coughs> selling selling the gas and, and also being able to use the gas at, for our own purposes for heating buildings. So that's the total savings. In that. So it's a pretty critical process. This is just giving us authorization to the service director to enter into contract after we look at the uh, request for uh, statement of qualifications for engineering services. And so this is for the design and then construction will come after that. We anticipate construction in the 2017. Uh, hopefully, have this thing in operation or back in operation in 2018. So, any questions on the members of the committee, Mr. Chair? Uh, Mr. Loomis, can you can you explain to me because I mean, uh, this whole thing is 4.5 million? Is that correct? That's, that's what our, the, that's our estimate right that's now. That's estimate. Now, where is that? Where, where is that? How does that get funded? Can you just explain that? 
Well, that'll be funded through our uh, rate increases that we have in place um, for the next um, so many number of years. So it'll be through the, through uh, wastewater funds where we're going to pay for that. So this will be on top of. We're not going to ask for a rate increase on this one here. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say motion, Mr. Brown. Motion, Mr. Brown. Second by Mr. Bob. Sorry. Mr. Blake, did you Mr. Have a, Mr. Chair, yeah. So this is so this essentially will be another note that we'll be getting to pay for this. This, this will be a, um, as explained there, a uh, water pollution control loan fund. Uh, we, we like to do, uh, we like to borrow the money through WPCLF as a state revolving loan fund money uh, because you don't have to pay anything until the end of the project. And so we don't, they, they, even though we do capitalized interest in that period, but we don't have any payments to make. So that's how we can, with the way our rates are, struct rates are structured, we're going to have money in 2018 to pay for this, but we don't have it today. If I did a bond, I'd have to be paying that back right away. And, uh, or start paying it back right away, and that's where. So, the, so the funding is through. Is well, as long as there's money there, we spend in a few years. But, but that's that's been around for a lot of years. So we anticipate being able to get that loan. So, and you are estimating this taking until sometime in 2018. Is 2018 is our current hope. So, any other questions on members of the committee? Any questions on a member of the audience? All in favor of sending this on to full council signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Passes 5 0. Thank you, Mr. Lewis. And that is all for the service committee, and that is all for the right.